Welcome to the next lecture of our course Selenium with CSharp.net and in this lecture we'll be talking about extending custom methods for Selenium with CSharp.net. If you remember until our last video while we were discussing about page object model we didn't really used our custom method that we wrote something like this and the reason why we didn't use it is because we directly used the method which were available in Selenium C Sharp itself but as you know our existing method has got so many advantages but also comes with some disadvantage at its own cost. As you can see, our method comes with some common parameters over here, like the driver instance of the iWeb driver, and also it has the driver.find element by to find the locators over here. We can get rid of all these things right now because we also have the locators in one single place in our page object model code. So we can get rid of all of them into very, very simplified version of the code. We can bring all our existing code from this way into this way as you can see over here. So as you can see our click method that we have got has got the driver object as well as the locator object over here being passed for this particular driver.find element by. Instead of doing this, if I don't really want to pass the web driver instance, I can just pass the element itself. I mean the iWeb element alone and then I can perform the operation. And now you can see that it's one less parameter compared to two parameters that we passed before just to identify the element and the reason why we pass the driver is to identify the element as well and we pass the locator so now we can just pass the iweb element and then we can perform the operation over here and you can see that the whole code has been so much simplified and it's even more readable so this is what we are going to be doing in this particular lecture so in order to do that i'm going to go over here in our code and as you can see we also have problem with our caller code as well as our existing code so if you see our custom code that we have been calling, we actually perform the end text, we also pass the driver, and then we find pass the locator, and then we pass this text that we wanted to enter in there. So instead of that, like three parameters, we can now just pass only one parameter to perform that operation. And I will show you how all these things are gonna be coming up so easily. So if you just go to our login page.cs file, you will notice that we have already spent time to identify the locator. Now we already have an iWeb element type. So now while I have the iWeb element type, I can directly pass this iWeb element type within my custom method itself, which is the Selenium custom method that we have built. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of all these iWeb driver locator and by locator to just an iWeb element over here like this. And once I do that, you will notice that I don't really have to pass the driver.find element Rather, I can just say locator.click because it is going to perform the click operation. And similarly, I'm going to write an, or introduce an submit method this time just for the clarity purpose. And then I'm going to say submit. Well, now I have these two methods. If I go back to our login page.cs file, what I can do it is I can just get rid of this whole code to something like this. I can just say selenium custom method dot click and now I can just pass the locator which is going to be the login link something like this so this way it is going to work for us as expected and similarly if I want to perform a submit operation then I can just go over here and I can say dot submit and then I can pass the btn login over here so now you can see that we can start to reuse our existing code but at the same time we can just pass only one parameter for this particular method and now coming back to our enter text operation that we were doing within our custom method we can get rid of them as well so basically instead of doing this i can just say it's going to be an i web element and i can get rid of all these locators over here to locator and similarly i can get rid of all these two locator over here and I can now say the exact same thing for this as well. And now I can just get rid of all to locator. So you can see that Visual Studio is already telling me or suggesting me there is a way that I can just replace this whole thing. I can just go ahead and select this. And you see that Visual Studio is showing me that you need to change this to locator. And once I hit tab, it automatically changes for me. It is kind of cool as well. And let me go ahead and do that. Now hopefully it just changes. Um, and finally this one to iWeb element and I can get rid of this to locator. 
So now we have all of these elements being changed over here. I can now go ahead and change the login page. So I have to just say txt username, really it's not user, it's username. And I'm going to say, I mean, I can get rid of these into selenium custom method dot enter text. And over here, I can say locator as the txt username and I can pass the username over here in the parameter. And similarly, I can just do the exact same thing for the password as well, which is going to be the txt password. And so now you can see that we can start using our Selenium custom method over here to perform these operations, which is quite awesome and neat as well. Well, once we did this modification, I'm sure our unit test 1.cs is going to comply in saying that we don't really have a click method, error text method over here within our existing test code because these methods are now kind of obsolete and they are not going to run as expected. We'll come back to this particular class file to refactor them later on. But for now, I'm just going to leave this to you guys to do it, to refactor this code like how you wanted to. But I'm just going to say control KC to comment this whole code, which means this code is not going to run. So let's quickly run this code that we have modified and see if that is going to work or not. So I'm going to go to our test explorer and then I'm gonna run the test and you can see that the code is working as expected like how it was before using our new changes or refactored selenium custom methods now next video we'll see how we can even more refactor this particular code to better write the code rather writing so many lines of code over here as well